What's up, y'all? I'm about to head over to this elementary school. So somebody reached out to me and wanted to do some questions, interviews for the kids. So I'm gonna head over there. Peace. Right around here, yep. I'm always over here. Did you guys gas him? No, he's not here. Oh, he's not here? Like at school at all today? Because he was in my first class. Okay, I'm here with Mr. Collins. Robert and Emilian, and we're gonna get started with our interview. You was uh, helping kids at the Boys and Girls Club, mm -hmm. like you was um, helping them with art. I yes. Think. Yes. Um, are you a graphic designer? Yes. And I like to use the term designer. Graphic designer is like one thing. Designer is mm -hmm. like a lot of stuff. What other things are you trying to like work on throughout your life? be a resource for kids. I think part of the problem was when I was growing up, I ain't had nobody coming and talking to me. What is your most prized possession? Most prized possession? I think my brain. <laughs> my brain is my most prized possession because your brain, because your brain is like a muscle. So the more you exercise it, the more you look up stuff, the more you learn stuff, the better you are. So the more you know, the more valuable you are because it's something about being mediocre. It, but the market, like we talked about, the market is the stores, it's the company. They're not going to give you a shot if you're mediocre. It makes sense because you don't really add too much value. So I would like to say that, like, one of the things I would like to do is just feed a thousand grumbling stomachs. St. Luke's intergenerational school. Actually, gonna have a guest today. His name is Josh. He's a young guy met at Weapons of Mass Creation last year. Kind of, kind of get him, get him something, some new updates on what he's been doing, and give him some insight, some inspiration. So, uh, what time is it? What's the date? I never know the date. I never know the time. I'm always all over the freaking place. So it's April 8th. I got this new uh, I got this new microphone, but I left the batteries in it like a Nimco boot and it's dead, so I had to buy some more. So hold on. Yeah, so my Instagram is just a hub for uh, just everything that I, that I do creatively. I, I've kind of just dedicated it to this creative outlet. I don't really post anything too silly at all. Did you hear that? Say it one more time. You know, there, there are people on social media that just, that just use their accounts for a creative outlet. I really just look at art on Instagram. That's pretty much it. I look at art to get inspired and, and people that are uh, in the entrepreneurial space. But the idea is to be constantly surrounded by creativity in any manifestation. The purpose of a portfolio in general is not only to show a body of work, but once you have uh, a product that's completed, you can show a narrative to it. You can, you can give it a story, and it makes it look a lot more appealing than just saying, hey, I, I just send you a, a picture on, on and DM, this is what I did. They kind of know a lot of this stuff. Yeah, I talk about it all the time. So it's just really shaking up and just crushing and doing stuff, man. I like all your attitude. I, I, I got to tell y'all something. I, I got to tell you, this is very important, bro. I hate to talk about other schools and other situations, but I got other people ain't nowhere touching y'all. That one thing you did for me, them impressions on there, is like my top impressions, bro. It's almost up to like 600, that, that thing you did. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, you happy. Where my stuff at? Happy boy. Yeah, you happy, Look bruh. A lot of guys don't be inboxing me, like, when you coming up here, where you at? Like, they be checking for me, like, you coming up here today, where you at? I need this. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do. So, I mean, other, that's how I could tell, like, they all the way in it. They they, they, they ready to do it. So, other, other schools, bruh, they, like, lacking, man. They not really, they all consumed in the games and Roblox and flying around like a little... 
<laughs> That's what they do. Ooh, Is that why you laugh? <laughs> Ooh. Why are you laughing? Is that too young? Is dudes too? Is it? Is that? Is dudes too old to be flying around in Roblox all day long? Yeah. Is you need it, to get is, grown to make your money. I'm making money oh right now. Oh my goodness! Thank you. So this is my man Roberto. How old are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I'm 14. 14. All right. So Roblox is for who? Little kids. You over here flying on some? Oof! No, we're not <laughs> doing that. No, that's for children. So, so, so somebody your caliber should be doing what? They need to be out here, find their ways to get money, or just graphic design. Anything that's like honing their skills at whatever they're good at. Not no fantasy, fake world. My oh, man, what you got to say? I'm lame. <laughs> chess is trash compared to graphic design. Oh, the chess guy's not going to take you to the cabs and work on the Kyrie yeah. stuff. Period. He's not talking about no PayPal account with no money going in. Like, ever since my first class here, I missed out on the first lesson, not gonna lie to you. So when I came back, Mr. Jamal was like, you know, how you do this? I was like, sure, sure, sure. You know, I was trying to wing it and stuff. But now I look where I'm at. So like, all I'm saying is that it takes, it takes improving, it takes practice, and you gotta believe in yourself. And you gotta, you gotta come in with the right attitude, like you were saying earlier. And I'll be in here practicing by myself. Like it was a spring break. I came in here. No one was in here. I was the only person in here working on my craft. He came in out of nowhere because I posted something on Instagram, commenting, "Stay where I'm at." He pulled up on me. We got to working. So uh, just stay consistent. What are you two doing sitting there, plotting? Yeah, we plot. Plot and steal. To steal what? <laughs> to steal the information. All of it. Yeah, but whose information is it? And the more you learn about this system, the more upset you get. Oh, my dear Mr. Williams. <laughs> Hypermend? Information is power. If you don't have the information, one cannot seize power. You need to think about becoming mentally competitive. Being black does not free you from being a responsible individual. Yeah, but being a responsible individual don't free you from being black. Now do it. <laughs> That's right. Poor misguided soul. You have yet to learn the rules of this game.